Hello everyone, welcome back. This week we'll be making a favorite of mine, ricotta nudi. This is a special naked dumpling from Italy, hence the name nudi, which comes from the Italian word for naked since the skin is so thin on these. They take about three days to make, but are super simple and only require a few minutes each day after the first. To make ricotta from scratch, add two quarts or 1.89 liters of whole milk to a large pot, cue chunk of butter, which reminds me, use non-homogenized milk if possible. You can totally use store-bought ricotta if you don't want to make it yourself, but homemade just tastes so much better. Then add one cup of heavy whipping cream to the pot before bringing this over to the stove to begin heating it up. To curdle our milk later, you'll want to set aside three tablespoons of white wine vinegar. You can use any type of vinegar here except for red or balsamic since that will change the color of our ricotta. We are looking to bring our lactose intolerant nightmare up to 190 degrees Fahrenheit, stirring it very often. I can't emphasize that enough because if this scalds, it will ruin the flavor of your hardened ricotta and there's no way to fix it. Quick note, if you did use non-homogenized milk, the beads of butterfat floating on the surface are completely normal. Once this gets to 190 degrees, we can go ahead and add in our vinegar. Once added, just give the mixture one or two good stirs before killing the heat and allowing it to sit for 5-10 to 10 minutes. At which point you should have beautiful curds of ricotta floating in a sea of whey. To strain this, place a fine colander in a large bowl along with two layers of cheesecloth. If you can't find cheesecloth, a clean kitchen towel works as well. Carefully strain your cheese into the bowl and bring the corners of the cloth together and gently spin it shut. You don't want this too tight or you'll end up squeezing the cheese through the cloth and losing some of it. Separate from the whey and drain for about 20 minutes before allowing to completely cool in the fridge. For the mix of herbs we'll be adding to the ricotta, we'll need about 1 tablespoon of parsley, finely chopped, 1 tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves, finely chopped, and 1 tablespoon of chives, finely sliced. Once your ricotta has cooled, it can be removed from the cheesecloth. Your ricotta will be a little firmer than you'll need it to be, but we can adjust that in a moment. Add your herbs into the cheese and fold them in thoroughly. To adjust the moisture of the ricotta, add one tablespoon of whole milk at a time, continuously folding until the ricotta is moist but not soggy, and don't forget to season with a pinch of salt. Into a rim sheet tray, add a few cups of flour or enough to coat the bottom of the pan by about half an inch. Now to form our nudie, you can use a spoon to scoop out ping pong ball sized balls and add directly to the flour or make things easier with an ice cream scoop. Carefully coat each cheese ball with flour and gently form into spheres with your hands. You'll really want these to be completely covered so no bald spots. Rinse and repeat until your tray is filled and add another half cup or so of flour before putting into the fridge overnight. The next day, you'll notice the flour has moisturized into a very delicate skin around the ricotta. All we're going to do is recoat everything in flour before placing back into the fridge overnight once more. On the third day, you should be blessed with ricotta nudi without any wet spots, meaning they are ready to cook. To cook, add your nudi to a pot of lightly salted boiling water and boil for about 15 to 20 seconds before adding into an ice bath to cool. These are very delicate, so small batches are best. The trick to ensure your nudie don't implode like dying stars in your pan is to refrigerate them on a sheet tray until completely cool so they firm back up. For our finished dish, we'll need about half of a cup of finely sliced leeks, trimming off the green leaves and roots. These add a really delicate onion flavor to the dish and they crisp up nicely in the pan. For a savory note, you can also add in some my talking mushrooms. Simply pull apart the florets and then saute until golden brown and reserved for later. Finally, to put everything together, add your chilled nudie to a hot saute pan with one tablespoon of canola oil and fry until lightly golden brown. Add back in the mushrooms to reheat along with the leeks and we are ready to plate. Arrange your nudie around one another and only struggle a little bit to get them right where you want them. Layer on your mushrooms and leeks and drizzle on some balsamic reduction if you have it, along with some whole parsley leaves. I was kind of going for the forest floor aesthetic here. And there you have it, ricotta nudi with mushrooms and leeks that anyone can make. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see 